with Shachar Peled, usually a culture correspondent. Good morning to you. Good morning. And you are bringing us actually a very disturbing story yes, this morning. Yes, I'm bringing the atmosphere down a down. bit, unfortunately. But with the Hollywood, the uh, Absolutely. Crowd. So uh, an explosive documentary film premiered in Hollywood uh, last Friday, and it's a, in fact a film Hollywood does not want you to see, does not want any of us to see. Um, it premiered in the Doc NYC, the documentary film festival of New York City, and it's named An Open Secret. It, um, it names a list of allegedly Hollywood big shots who um, sexually abused minors and teenagers throughout the 90s in Hollywood. Let's see first a short clip, a minute from that film. Let's take a look. Go to the auditions and so forth to try to pick the ones that they wanted. And I remember the one younger kid, blonde haired kid, I don't remember what his name was, but I remember Mark going right after him. Do I remember the first time? Yeah, I do. Um, he had uh, picked me up at the studios and um, took me back to his house. And w on the, the drive on the way back, he was asking me if I liked guys or if I liked girls. I, I said I liked girls. And uh, he goes, make your crotch look bigger. So when we got back to the house, he had gotten a sock and he would adjust it around and say, this is how it goes like this, you know? At one point, he said, uh, you know what, why don't you just take off your clothes? Take off your clothes and let me see what you look like. So I don't know why I did it, but I did. And he looked at me and goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. A very disturbing story that was known in Hollywood for years. It's been rumors and it's been a buzz all around, but uh, Amy Berg, uh, um, Oscar-nominated filmmaker, uh, decided to uh, dig in, and in the past three years, she's researched the stories with numerous three years. Three years she's been amazing. working on this story. Uh, now, it was screened uh, last Friday, and it might have been the first and last screening of this film, because surprisingly, they have no distributors thus far. Really? No one Shocking. wants to <laughs> distribute this film. Um, in it, she interviews dozens of these uh, adults today who were young men uh, back in the 90s and they name uh, really uh, big uh, m movie a agents, movie producers uh, in Hollywood in the 90s um, who they said exploited them and sexually abused them in the 90s and they name these people. Yeah, I was about to ask legally, so, how is she getting, how are they getting away so with it? So we'll that? get to that. First of all, some of the names are very big managers, cool. Marty Weiss, Michael Herra, Bob Villard, who was uh, formerly Leonardo DiCaprio's yes, and yes. Toby Maguire's agent, and internet internet co company owners Mark Collins Rector and Chad Shackley. Now, um, Chad Shackley and, and Collins Rector are already known. They hit the headlines earlier this year when Brian Zinger, the director of uh, X-Men and the uh, usual suspects, um, was um, um, accused by uh, Michael Egan, a former child model who said that... Singer right? at these sex parties at Collins Rector and Chadley's uh, and uh, Sh Chad Shackley's uh, pool parties, he used to uh, um, molest him and sexually abuse him. Now we must mention that Egan ultimately dropped his uh, lawsuit against Singer and three more men um, after it emerged that some of his statements had been inconsistent and there was a problem with his lawyer. Um, but he's still in this film, Egan. Uh, Brian Singer's attorney um, actually hit out at Berg, saying that how could she uh, put Put Egan's allegations in this film, if calling the decision to use it, um, uh, you know, a, a statement with no credibility at all, uh, disappointing and pathetic. But Berg answered after once again a three-year research. She said that she believes Egan is a credible, valid part of her film. The thing is that Egan's account is only one part of this film. These. Um, uh, alcohol pool parties that were something that was known back in the like, 90s that was, was the part of, of the routine. The hot tub replaces the, 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 the casting couch. E exactly. Right. And, and the kids knew that the, these teenagers who were, who were children, practically children, knew that if they wanted to get ahead, they had to go to these parties. And some of the accounts, we've heard only one, some of the accounts are devastating. Um, following the screening of this film in Doc NYC, um, there was a q and with uh, Amy Berg and the uh, uh, cast and uh, the crew and um, one of uh, the reporters who 12 years ago tried to unveil this story but it was blocked by uh, some Hollywood uh, uh, managers um, John Conley let's hear uh, some of the words he had to say in this Q&A 
think that 12 years ago, the article got killed. Here we are 12 years later, we get one screening, maybe we'll get distribution. It's not very likely, but we really do hope that someone will put this out. Hopefully the screening will lead to something great like that. Um, but I just think it's a step forward. People will talk about it and it will be progressive. It's not gonna be something that happens quickly. That Thanks was that. Amy Berg. She actually answered John Connolly, who, who spoke before, um, about him saying that 12 years ago this story couldn't have happened, although he tried. And he actually pointed out a, a very blaming finger at Hollywood, saying Hollywood stopped Hollywood's it. Hollywood putting... does not want this information to come out. And he, he called Amy Berg such a, a brave filmmaker that she managed to take this I was about to say, I mean, clearly out. she's never going to work in Hollywood. Okay, yeah. so 44-year-old uh, Amy Berg she already knows uh, a thing or two about making enemies. Um, back in 2006, she was nominated for her documentary Deliver Us from Evil, which surprisingly looks at abuse cases in the Roman Catholic Church. I was Church. about to say, Sarah's going to look so, like Hollywood and the Vatican. Exactly. Yeah. So she already made some enemies in the Vatican. She now some, has some very big enemies in Hollywood. But she, I think the, the main idea here that she's shattering the American dream, the Hollywood dream of these young kids coming with all these aspirations yeah. and dreams but we have to put this in proportion because we've heard about other stories such as alcohol abuse and drug abuse uh, from Macaulay Culkin stories to no, Drew Barrymore it, stories it, it, we know the child actors um, many of them go through a, a problematic uh, future uh, but sexual abuse yeah, but sexual abuse and to that level and uh, is you know is really I don't want to say mind-blowing extraordinary to hear these stories and realize you know just how deep the underbelly the yes. city underbelly of Hollywood actually goes through sadly all the time we have because this is a fascinating story okay. and even though there's no distribution I'm only hoping that's what I wanted to ask if it's gonna get any kind of television or, you know, we knows? hope so. I'll just mention that the three men, um, some of them have been already accused and jailed. Uh, and jailed. So some of them At have least, gone you know, through if something uh, comes out this of ordeal. It, no yes. one thank you. Let's go to the news and we'll be back shortly after.